Hello, welcome to yet another episode. Uh, as we said last time, today I'm going to be doing some more mining. I'm going to try to get to 500 coal and or a piece of prospector gear and or uh, mining 57? Mining 57. Uh, then we're going to make some cannonballs, then we're going to do some more Shazian gang busting, and then I'll come up with something. It's like the game knows I'm close to an unlock. Just had three full loads of pay dirt and no gold nuggets. I think if I get 57 mining or I get to the coal threshold that I'm working for and still don't have the nuggets, I'll keep going until I get it. I'd like to have at least one piece. God, I'm getting so screwed on golden nuggets. It's just not happening because I'm close. It's like we had to do like 25 laps to get a single mark of grace when we were close to finishing the graceful kit. Uh, I guess extra coal is not bad. We're, we're going to need it later. We're going to burn through all of this coal. We're going to make all of these cannonballs and we're going to use all these cannonballs. So I shouldn't complain too much, but now we're close to our coal goal. Five more golden nuggets. I think that's going to be the last thing that we get because RNG Jesus hates us today. Hey, mining 57. I thought I'd have one more. Three to go until we can get into the mining guild. I guess we could technically fit in there early at 58 mining. Some of those mature dwarven stouts that I've got them sitting on. The mingle here is uh, gold nuggets. That's a little bit better. Two in one bag. I think we need one more gold nugget. Just confirm that real quick. Now we're gonna go dry again, aren't we? <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just gonna cash in every inventory of pay dirt now instead of doing every three like before until we get the gold nugget and then we can bounce out of here and start smithing. Hey, we got the gold nuggets. Gonna buy the pants and then immediately not use them. But I'll have them for next time we mine. Yo, Prospector Perry, give me these Prospector legs. Okay, I got the Prospector legs. 30% um, of the way to 58. Let's go make a bunch of cannonballs. Um, as far as like stream work getting done in that last hour of mining. Uh, I got my reruns updated for the next day or so, and I got my sublock schedule handled and the events calendar good to go. So, good amount of work. It looks like I can actually get a good amount done during mining, as long as it's in the mother load. It's lower click intensity in here than it is out in the wild, uh, doing like iron ore or the equivalent. Uh, I'm gonna grab those law runes that I'm short on now. Go ahead and pull up my debt document. Detail how much I'm spending. Adding an extra 200 on my list. I've now bought a thousand law runes. It's getting crazy. Let me go ahead and pay back the cosmic runes. For whatever reason, OS Buddy didn't actually capture my Cosmic Rune purchases. I think it was less than 100, but I'll go ahead and sell 100 just to be 100% certain. Pays for some of the Law Runes. Only I was okay with trading in general, right? Okay, so we want that Rock Body. That's all I need to have equipped while doing this, right? Smithing 44. 26 levels to go uh, for the quest cape. Smithing's pretty slow. I think steel in particular is slow. We might speed it up if I actually get around to smelting all of this gold ore since uh, I went to the trouble of getting the goldsmith's gauntlets. But I figure let's get um, 
Let's get steel XP while we're still somewhat low level on smithing. Smithing 45. It's happening slowly but surely. You can also mount Lovakite ore and make Shazian supply gloves one. I don't know that I can mine Lovakite ore though, can I? I'll have to check. Now, 65 mining. It's interesting that you can mine it so much later than you can smelt it. I wonder if that's an oversight. So I'm kind of on a roll with smithing here. I kind of want to um, use those goldsmith gauntlets. So I think I'm going to smith a lot of my gold. Let's see. I just made a thousand cannonballs, so I should be set there. Uh, let me grab the goldsmith gauntlets if I can find them here. Okay, there. Perfect. Yeah, and then we'll, uh, I won't make all of my gold into ingots. Well, I'll make almost all of the ore into ingots, but I'm not going to craft all the ingots into bracelets for crafting. Do some chunk of them, and then sell the rest. Oh yeah, we're getting a lot of XP from Goldsmith Gauntlets, so that's pretty great. Smithing 46. I'm not going to hit 50 doing this, but we're going to get pretty far along. I think 47. Yeah, this is quite a bit faster. Quite a bit faster. Make sure I keep doing this whenever I get gold ore from the Mother Lord. I think we can also get gold ore from Blast Mine when we get to 60 mining and try it out. All that gold got us about 77% of the way to level 48 smithing. It's pretty good. To crafting now and get rid of a lot of this gold. I'm gonna leave behind like a hundred gold ingots because I want it for making teleport jewelry and other stuff, but I can burn through a chunk of it here. I need a bracelet bulb? Yeah, and then I can high alcohol these once I'm done with them. Maybe reinvest that back into nature runes. Crafting 49, although this is kind of awful and super slow. I'm not even sure why. It must be recommended because if you're on the Grand Exchange, it results in a profit, even though it's like incredibly slow. So it's potentially infinite resources for leveling crafting and bank standing it. <clears throat> I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and elk the bracelets I've already grabbed, and then we'll do something else for crafting. 378 more bracelets. That's... Not my favorite use of all these gold bars. But I mean, I guess... Well, I guess that would leave me with the over 100 gold bars that I want to have for teleport stuff later. And then 50 is a nice round number for crafting. And I still have stream work to do. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. We'll go ahead and get 50 crafting from this. But then never again. I should be getting plenty more gold bars from doing the gang busting anyway. Because time-wise, it's not that it's slow, it's that it uses a shitload of gold bars. <laughs> yeah, so I guess if, if I were using the Grand Exchange and cheesing it, then this would be a really great training method, because it would pay for itself, and I could probably get Crafting 99 if I wanted to kill myself. There's crafting 50. Clicked away from it. I do that a lot. You'd think after 100, uh, 1,211 level callouts that I'd get good at noticing when it's about to ding and leave it on the screen for a second, but I just get into a groove of dismissing it all the time. It's okay, you get the point. 50 crafting. Uh, let's see. 
I get anything at 50? Ruby amulet. Just a strength amulet? <laughs> Which I've enchanted into an amulet of strength by players. These little three enchants. Right, because I found I found ruby amulets in the ham storeroom and then I had enough magic to enchant them. But now I have enough crafting to craft them. I see. Dragonstone's really important. Uh, let's see, the Dragonstone ring. What does that get us? Ring of Wealth. Increases the chance of getting a drop in the rare drop table, which would be good just for fighting in general. Automatically collects currency. That would be cool. Can be charged to provide use with teleports. All right, well, it's not a high... I'm not going to, like, focus getting 55. I might even be able to craft or boost crafting. I'm getting to the point where skill boosts make more and more sense, provided it's not fishing for a stew boost, right? Oof, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I can get a plus four boost. Mushroom pie requires 60 cooking. So if through, like quest rewards or something I end up getting a 51 crafting then I'll I'll boost and make a dragonstone ring so I can have a dragonstone where I have ring of wealth that's it I think the dragonstone bracelet is a big deal and the dragonstone necklace is a big deal which sucks because well I guess it doesn't suck that bad uh, we need to get to 70 for quest cape so I can boost to make a necklace and a bracelet for myself. I guess the problem is the Amulet of Glory is a huge deal. Huge, huge, huge. Like, first of all, it's a big upgrade. Second of all, if we can make a couple of them and then get our construction high enough, I know that we can mount it in the house. There's so many quest guides talk about using this to work around and have infinite teleports. So it sucks. I don't really have many other ways of getting an Amulet of Glory. Like. Most of the time I just go, well, I'll go farm for it. I'll go find something that drops it. But I think our only shot at getting a drop is from Implings. And that requires like 80 Hunter anyway, and it's already over leveling beyond the, um, the max level. So, further quest cave. So I don't know what we're doing with that. Uh, well, I know what we're doing right now, and that's probably going back and buying some nature runes so I can burn through all of these yeah, gold bracelets. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna buy 567 nature runes. I'm gonna add them to my list of things that I have to pay back. So I should be able to afford to do that. This might actually get us a magic level, which would be kind of cool. Um, and I feel like we earned it in this case. So 1067 nature runes purchased total. We'll alk all these stupid bracelets, and then uh, then we'll go play the game. <laughs> then we'll go to Shazian and do some combat training, and then I gotta keep an eye on the clock to make sure we get a quest in here somewhere, preferably a significant one or an important one. Close to being able to make my own nature runes, I should probably make that a priority soonish. Now I can farm them. Five sixty-seven. Can't quite afford that yet. Okay. So it's 250, and then I can buy the rest of them after I'm done doing the alking. 200. All right, well I've got the buy order in. We'll go ahead and start alking. Oh my God! You can cast high alchemy on noted items. Let's. Uh... Holy shit! That makes things way less stupid. Whew. I'm doing this, I'm like, we're never doing this ever again. I'm never using high alchemy level up. I'm sitting over here feeling like, you know, I could be, you know, I really could be leveling magic more if I was just using high alchemy more often. False. No. Never again. That's so much better. I missed it again. Ah, Magic 66 though. About half of the level from this high level alchemy, which is awful. I don't recommend it. It's so bad. Even with it being noted, which is significantly better. Uh, even with it being noted. Not, gotta say, I'm not a fan. Vulnerability. 
66. So reduces your opponent's defense by 10%. <sighs> Soul runes. Should have to buy. I could see that being useful though. I wonder if that actually gets any use. Main thing about being 66 is that I can get into the, uh, the Mage Guild without boosting now, which is pretty cool. Okay, no new Archaeus spells, right? My next one is probably the Demon Reanimation. So I already have Reanimate Bloodfeld whenever I find or fight those. Reanimate Demons and Reanimate Tizhar, whatever that is. Let's do fine. God Capes at 60. I could already wear the god capes. I think they're talking about. Oh no, I'm already 60, that's why I'm able to wear it. Makes more sense. I didn't realize that that was restricted by your magic level, that's kind of crazy. I've been able to wear them on my uh, melee build the whole time. Make Ancient Wyvern Shield. Wield Ancient Wyvern Shield. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish alking these things. Uh, that's still a big deal though, it affects my combat level. Gets me closer to things that I actually do care about, like level 5 enchant's gonna matter. The Karen Castle teleport's gonna be a really big one. At 69. I'll probably do more uh, magic leveling once we get back into Slayer and we're already at base 60 and all of all their combat stats. Oof. I'm so glad that's over. I'm so glad I found the noting thing. I was doing it like, there's no way that this is what people do. Like, withdraw it from the bank constantly. There's got to be a faster way since it doesn't auto cast or queue. But yeah, no. I guess the reason it's recommended as a way of training is like, uh, it's free, technically, or generates profit in some cases. No, I'm good. I don't need to do that ever again. Um, 66 magic, that's cool. Let me do this clue scroll real quick, and uh, then we'll go do some Shazian combat leveling. I think I'm watching the live split timer. When we have two hours left, uh, we'll go do a quest. Now let's make it an hour left. Quests don't usually take more than an hour, and if they spill over 30 minutes, that's not so bad. So we started at 288 this episode. Uh, that means we're done at 296. So when the live split timer says like 295, we'll do a quest if we haven't like run into a, another reason to do a quest before then. Gertrude. Oh man, stash tab is finally paying off. That's really cool. Caskets. That was quick. 109 coins. You can see why people don't really do beginner. Your trails. I think we need the steel axe and the short bow for uh, some other stash units, so I'll go ahead and deposit them. Then we're gonna go to Shazian. And it's been a really long time since I last did Shazian, so I'm, my data might all be bonked. Borked. Screwed. Useless. I'm not sure. Our teleport book. And cannon. Brand new cannonballs. And like five healing items. Range 55. Can't talk too much though, I'm getting my ass kicked. Hold on. 55 is cool though. Multiples of five, we like those. Another hard clue scroll. They drop like candy in here. Sort of the impression hard clue scrolls were kind of rare. Looks like, at least so far, my document is still accurate. There hasn't been that much drift since this morning, so that's good. This one's a ranged attacker. Bummer. Oh boy. I'm currently playing at primetime. I never play this game during primetime because I'm either streaming during primetime or I'm hanging out with my wife. But she's back on another business trip, so it's like 5 o'clock Pacific. So I got a lot of people I'm competing with. I think I just got to do my best, basically. Oh, I have no coins. <laughs> I guess there's a bank right next to it. It's a reason to start picking up the gold, I guess. So we were near a full inventory anyway, so we might go do this clue scroll while we wait for the next round. So I'm good on good on other resources right now. Like I don't need to go mine more, because I think we'll have enough cannonballs to get us a decent amount of progress here in this project. 
So I guess this is a clue scroll I haven't done before. Talk to Hans. Sna. Hans backwards. Eight intelligence tokens. Okay, I think we're gonna get at least one defense level out of this. Yeah, that's the ticket. Defense 58. Two more. 18 minutes. Arceus, how south of the church? I've actually never been in Arceus before. So I got some time to go do this uh, clue scroll. Probably always have a ring of dueling equipped until I get an actual stat stick ring later. I want to change up the gear for clue scroll hunting. I need to make sure we stop and recharge prayer also. I think instead of the god cape, I want the RD cape so I have a quick prayer recharge. But I guess if I use the, the ring of dueling, I can get a quick recharge that way, sort of. Requires more walking. Get some of those anti poison. I gotta craft some new anti poison soon, or we're gonna have a bad time with these hard clues. Alright, I think I'm all geared up. Yep. Get some runes for teleporting. Who is this Hans? Maybe another clue scroll. Okay, we've gotten this one before. That'd have been camp. Where was that again? Oh, right, Alcarit. Oh, well, that's gonna get. There is a Ceridoman wizard at that one, but I was able to safe spot him without too much trouble. Make sure I stop at the altar on my way. I guess I could technically get an Amulet of Glory out of hard treasure trails, but I guess it's a trimmed one, so I can't mount it in the player house. I wouldn't be able to do that for a long time anyway, but I guess I could have it as my stat stick and then try to do other things to get the one that I would mount. Uh, technically, I did do a quest that lets me recharge Amulets of Glory already. I, I think it was the Hero's Quest, maybe? A worst case scenario, if I only ever have one amulet, that's not the end of the world. I should remember that there's a bank at Shantae Pass. I always stress out about having water skins before I get here, but it's not actually that necessary. Since I still have it on me, I'm going to see if I can cheese using the cannon to fight the Ceridoman wizard. Forgot to get a fucking spade. I knew I forgot something. God damn it. Carpet to Shantae Pass. Can I even take the carpets? How does that even work? Travel rug merchant. Okay, that's not so bad. Just gonna take one back from Shantae Pass, because that'd be great. Oh, another water battle staff. I guess I have a good chance of getting the elemental battle staffs from all of them. I should look that up and see if they all drop them. I feel less annoyed when they spawn. Okay, we haven't seen this one before. Falder Park. How do I play Scorpio Dances? What does that even mean? Oh, are they serious? I have to play the music track? <gasps> That's crazy! The wilderness. Oh, we're not doing that anytime soon. Scorpia. Damn. Well, this clue might be what finally kills me. <laughs> what level wilderness does she spawn in? 53 to 55. So no easy way out. Yeah. Well, let's go to let's go to Archaeus. Set up for the next organized crime set. And I want to throw out the uh, the clue scroll because it gives me a reason to check out more content, which I enjoy. It's too bad I got two of the same kind of battle staff. Okay, they can drop all four battle staffs. Gotcha. I could probably farm them by not finishing digging, but it's okay. I don't use magic that much anyway, so. Got my prayer recharge. Where is the church? Stairs. Looks like I can set up in here. What floor is it on though? Middle floor. Nothing else to shoot, which is always nice. Pause with the drama and stuff later. I didn't realize I still had that on me. Okay, fast forwarding to when it starts in a minute. Super annoying. I just jumped worlds unnecessarily like four times in a row from clicking the wrong part of the screen. There's the rune scimitar. It finally happened. <laughs> Long after I needed it. 
That's okay. I can sell it, or maybe I'll hold on to it in case I need to go do something that I'm worried about losing the Dragon Scimitar on. All right, that was 344. Let's try 355. 374. Let's see, do I have room to drop something? Last two worlds are 307, 319. Give it a shot. So she's arranged, so I gotta be careful here. I have no more prayer. Maybe she is melee, actually. That's not so bad. Probably good. That I'm gonna get for now, anyway. Stop at the church, refill my prayer, and then I might. It's probably a bad idea, but I might try to do this, uh... <sighs> I might try to do this clue. Basically, I have to go out there naked and figure out the fastest way to get there, though. I don't know what that is. Scorpion Pit. Scorpion. Oh, it's along the north part, so it's not far from the major arena. Okay, that makes it a little bit less impossible for me to attempt. I was concerned it wasn't after like go the long way in, you know. But I can maybe make that work. I gotta pop over to Shazian, turn in this intelligence, um, figure out when the next where the next thing is gonna be. I just gotta get in there, hear the song, and then leave too, so that should help a little bit. Got the fucking room room scimitar, finally. Oh well. Give me this guy, and then I wanna Varrock teleport. Yeah, because I wanna use the Edgeville thing, and I need a knife to open shit. But I think I want exactly as many as I'm going to use to teleport. She's in. So this one won't get me a defense level, but the next one might. It'll get me to 59. Goal is to hit 60. 8 seems pretty good. I've done better than 8 before, but it'd be like my minimum. If I get less than 8, then I should be ashamed. That's still like 5% per book, so I only need six to get to fifty-nine, so another route should do it. Sidious pub, fifteen minutes. I guess so it took so long getting back, fifteen minutes makes sense. I need to have my clue scroll on me and a sp no I don't need either because I'm just getting the song. Okay, well that's helpful. It means if I die I guess I don't need the money on me either. Or the Corin teleport. So I'm just going to be walking back to the Mage Guild to teleport home. Mage Arena, whichever. That 12.50 skill total world thing is looking increasingly realistic. Like that could be a thing that we could unlock. This is a cool clue scroll step. I feel like a combination of clue scroll steps and achievement diaries is how you end up doing everything in the game. Right? How it makes sure that you get rewarded for having unlocked everything, right? More rewards for coming to the wilderness are kind of cool, as much as I hate the wilderness. I hate PvP. I really haven't seen another MMO approach PvP like this, where, like, other players... It's like a predator-prey relationship, where, as a PvM player, you have reason to go through PvP zones. I like that it's sort of opt-in. Like, you can't just be killed anywhere in the entire game, right? Occasionally a task pulls you here, and it adds a large amount of stress to the task. Scorpion Pit. Level 18 to 124. No kidding. Oh, they aggro anyway. At least they don't poison, question mark? Scorpion Dances, got it. Oh, now I'm poisoned. Shit. Oh, I'm not going to make it in time. I have enough run energy. How bad was the poison? I didn't recharge my prayer either, so I can't turn on rapid healing. Six damage. And these hellhounds? Oh, I'm in trouble. I just didn't think about that. I could just pop in and pop out. Please, God, let us make it to the Mage Arena. Probably should have brought a single thing of food. I didn't even think about that either. 292 hours. Are we finally going to die? Looking likely. <laughs> I wasn't going to turn the heart rate monitor on for this because I wasn't thinking it was that crazy. Is it going to be the fucking web slashing that gets me killed? It's the bank chest. Get some food. Come on. 
I think I'm just barely gonna live here. I need to, I need to make more anti potion potions before we do much of anything else. Okay. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I did not deserve to be alive. Fuck out of here. Jesus. Okay, Hosidius Pub. Um, I need prayer back first. It's really cool that you have to use music tracks that you've learned for Questa. I did not know that was a thing at all. So I'm going to need more poison, any poison potions, and I'm going to need more... Uh, I need to make it more fish soon. I'm really burning through my fish really badly. So that'll be next episode is a fish grind. Oh, that's cool. When you hover over the food, it projects how much it's going to heal. I like that. Start rolling the Sidious Pub here. Bring the Corrin Warpy thingy. Actually, no, I've got the Ring of Duel thing. I don't need it. Save myself the inventory space. Oh, but I do. God damn it. I do need my, uh. Where's the pub? Oh, it's by the bank anyway. Okay. I do need my. Cannon pieces, but it's okay. I can get them. Every foray I've had into the wilderness has been fine. I've, I think I got attacked one time. I was like just over the border. I don't remember. I think maybe I was looking for the chaos altar, the entrance to the abyss. Somebody hit me, got me down to one hit point, and I was able to cross the border before they killed me. I was pretty freaked about that. Try to remember the cannonballs. There we go. It's inside the pub. All right, we've been in this one before, and there's a lot of wasted cannonballs because of all the other NPCs. The rats are the worst. They respawn like instantly. The fact that this location is right next to the bank is very nice, though. Also, lucky Ranar, we dropped from... Rand I think we just killed a person. She dropped it. Leave the room, dude. I'll lock you out. It'll be great. I didn't realize the rat could get outside, too. Shit. Go out the door, dude. You know you want to? Ooh, now I have both the loop half and the tooth half of key. I think that's somewhat rare. Alright, let's go to 517 maybe. Just try to avoid other players. Let's see if I can bank over here. That went pretty well. Sometimes it goes really well. I've got a shitload of uh, intelligence up top. Okay, I can clean here at least now. Leaves, I should say. Oops. Give me my cannonballs back. Thank you. Okay. And then I've got a dueling ring, right? So I can get out of there. Perfect. Go get my multi cannon back. I'll go turn in these uh, scripts. Get some defense XP. Hit 59 defense. What else am I doing with my life? Um, do the next clue step, because I should be able to now that I have the song. Oh, I can wield that book. Oh. Maybe as a mage? I assume it has no stats. Plus one prayer, that's it. Worse than any shield I have. Eleven intelligence manuals. Pretty good. Alright, 59 defense. One more. And then just a quick hit points level. Still about 5% per manual. And another 13 manuals. So it'll probably be two more cycles to get 60 defense. Then I'll have a decent knock into hit points, hopefully. Okay, let's use this guy. Actually, let's get our prayer first. I guess that's what Clan Wars is for? I don't know. It seems like it's out of the way. Oh, I didn't check what the next location is while I was there. Oh well. Try to head back early-ish to do it. Dying Cloak. Anti-Poison Potion. Hopefully I won't die this time. Yeah, we gotta do Swordfish real soon. Burn through them real quick if you're not careful. Clue scroll back out. Elder Park and play Scorpio Dances. I love that song. It's... Now if I get that clue step again, I won't have to go back into the uh, wilderness. Oh, Jesus. A vestment stall and a heraldic rune shield. Vestment stall. 
Ooh. Only obtainable through hard clues. It's telling me I should dump this thing, huh? Players can paint them in a painting stand in a player-owned house's workshop at level 43 crafting for room kite shield and the appropriate crest. Oh, I guess it's just a way to customize your shit. That's kind of cool. Well, I can make the heraldic shield. Stole, not so much. I'm wondering if I should risk buying it on the Grand Exchange just to use for the clue step and then agreeing to sell any stole back that I get in the future. There's different variations of stole and it looks like the drop rate is not great. 1 in 1600. I don't know that I can commit to doing 1600 hard clues. I could buy it and sell it back, but that's kind of beside the point. Yeah, because it's not buy it and sell it back, it's earn it conventionally and sell it back. So if I wanted to earn it conventionally, I would need to luck out and just have it drop. Uh, that's a hard call. I really want to do the clue scroll, especially since we're several steps into it. And it required uh, starting the, the Legends quest to get to, and I have got be able to do that. And the question is, would running hard clues after the quest cape be more difficult than getting to 94 cooking? I guess if it's a 1 in 1100 some drop, maybe. Uh, it's a really hard decision. I don't think that there's a right answer. I'm gonna go find out where the next location's gonna be. I'm not doing this step until after that anyway. Unfortunately, we just block every hard clue. And like, the only way to get the item is from hard clues. I might just need to say too bad and drop it. Ah, oh, that sucks though. This really is cabins on the pier. Kitties are being bad. It's around their dinner time. I'll feed them after this next round. I'm not gonna wait a couple minutes. I burn through half my cannon balls. Went ahead and fed the cats there while we were waiting. A few more minutes. I think I made my decision. I think I need to destroy the, the clue scroll. It's painful, but I don't want to risk increasing this playthrough by like dozens or hundreds of hours to get a specific 1 in 1000 drop, right? Even if it's multiple stoles that we could say could qualify. I mean, I could go on the Grand Exchange and buy it use it for the clue and then sell it back, but that seems contrary to the spirit of the playthrough. Maybe if one drops from a future clue scroll, then we'll be good, but everything else we've bought with the possible exception of the summer pies, I can totally put in the effort to earn back. Completed three steps. Uh, it probably is a casket after it. It's fine. Sadness and sorrow. So I think the quest we're going to do this episode is called Eagle's Peak simply because it's currently blocking four medium diaries more than any other... Every other quest we need to do, I think, is affecting a maximum of one diary, but Eagle's Peak is four. Oh no, Between a Rock is one that's affecting two. So we'll probably do Eagle's Peak and then Between a Rock, or I'll see if finishing Eagle's Peak leaves us with a medium diary that only requires one other quest. Dragon Scimitar is freaking cool looking, though. Why do we unlock that? Can't get that intelligence in the corner. It's unfortunate. Gotta let it go. That's the dream right there where they've all been tagged and they'll just die to time running out. I could force that to happen more often. That would be. Super duper swell. Another tooth half of key. No kidding. I think I only have the inventory space to do one more of these, and so nowhere near a bank this time. Which is a bummer, but what are you gonna do? Um, so much loot lost from that corner. No one in the corner this time, though. That's nice. Can I leave it here a sec? I'm gonna deposit this crap and come back. There's only the one bank in Port Viscurlius. Oof. I can try warping after I bank. Maybe I'll have some space then. 
It's nine. That's not terrible, given that I lost a couple around the corner. It just despawned. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Pretty good though. I got ten. Could have been much worse. Or eleven, actually. 296 is our cutoff point. It's 29307. I should I should be able to get defense 60 and uh, hit point 60, no problem. Not strength 60, but we'll do that later. Strength 60 is almost certainly going to be worth it for the increased max hit equals more XP for everything else melee, but I wanted to get the Dragon Scimitar first. I'm not getting most of my XP right now through max hits. So defense makes more sense, so it can be more survivable for this stuff. Here we go, this should get us within, we'll need two more after this. Next, I think two more cycles will be done. Excited to go back to doing something, like, Slayer training is way less stressful than this. There's a lot that can go wrong, there's competing with other players, managing the, uh, the cannon. It's pretty scary. Just doing regular Slayer leveling with range or magic or something sounds like it would be just a blast. Upstairs in the bunkhouse southwest of the bank. Oh, getting these shitty ones. Get out of Port Piscarillus, guys. Ain't even trying to hear that. Oh yeah, that was the really bad one. I think that was the one that's... There's literally nowhere to place the cannon. So I could try it without the cannon. Wouldn't be able to get anywhere near as many runs, but... I got tons of time before then, so what I want to do while we wait. Could try cannoning lizard men. Why not? I don't need them for a favor anymore, but they do have a drop that we care about, I guess. It lets you teleport places. Unfortunately, I hear it's somewhat rare, but... Hey, a Renner seed drop. That's exciting. Lucky. Money is money. I don't want to burn all of my uh, resources on this, so. My last set of cannonballs, and I'll get out of here. I'm trying to just grind out 60 defense here so I can spend the rest of my books on hit points. This is more of a waste because it's not doing anything. Dragon armor. Tots, Catch, Seal, and Obsidian Armor, and Odium and Malediction Wards. I don't know what any of that is, but okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait, wait, what's this? Xerax Talisman? I think that's the thing. I think it's supposed to be highlighted in some way. I think that's the super rare drop. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Holy shit, it almost despawned. I was just ignoring it because it was white. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. You were watching and like saw it on the ground and like, oh my god, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> I've seen people post on the uh, Reddit like thousands of lizard men slain with no drop. Charging the talisman with lizard fangs. Talisman was able to teleport players to locations around Great Corinth. It's only like a 1 in 300, so it's not that rare, but. Well, that's awesome. Talisman now has six charges. Does the talisman itself have any stats? Plus two, not really. Xerix Lookout, Xerix Glade, Xerix Inferno, Xerix Heart. Okay, and I thought I did like a diary or I can do a diary that makes it more convenient. Maybe it's the uh, Architectural Alliance has something to do with it. That's pretty fucking awesome <laughs> and unexpected. Especially right when I was giving up Xerix Heart, which teleports players to the statue. It's a task for the hard diary. Wow. Man, that is lucky as hell. Okay. Let me go ahead and deposit this thing so I don't lose track of it. See if I can figure out where the teleports go. I've got two loop halves, two tooth halves. Should figure out where that goes. I actually don't know. Xerox Talisman. South of the infirmary. And Shazian. That's a pretty convenient location. It's actually, it might be closer than the other thing to turn in this guy here. Posidius by the magic trees. Well, that one is really convenient. 
That's right by the Hasidious Bank and the winery and the altar and the farming patch. Dude. Lovacane, south of Blast Mine. Also convenient. Grand Castle Courtyard next to the statue. That one's also pretty close to a bank. Maybe it's beneficial for other reasons. Wow. Super lucky. Super fucking lucky. Because I know I can't use the cannons. I'm not even gonna bother. Let me put it away here. Probably sub it out for some extra food. Xerix tiles are gonna be mounted at level 72 construction, providing unlimited teleport charges. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was so stupidly lucky. Confirming there's no 3x3 here. I don't think there is. Yeah, I just gotta fight them all. I can probably drag them all into this uh, hallway here. If there's a ranged gang boss, that makes things a little bit harder, but I didn't really get a chance to celebrate Defense 60 because that's when the Zeric Talisman dropped and was almost despawning. Uh, Defense 60, hooray! Oh man, funny stuff. About that dragon armor, dragon equipment, dragon plate body, 90 smithing, dragon chain body. Oh hey, genie, I know where you're going. It might be enough. Well, I don't think it's going to be enough to get me my prayer a little here. Cool, though. Dude, I don't want to fight you. Come on. Ah, well, I've got other worlds I could hop to. So we'll switch to strength now. I'm trying to look for armor upgrades on him. 60 defense. The problem is, like, I guess most dragon armor is going to be tough for an Iron Man type character to get because it's all rare drops from random enemies. Enders be tamed the warrior skill. Attack and strength must add up to at least 130. That's tricky. Now we're 113. We have to get strength to 60 and then get, I guess 65, 65 would work. I can boost my way in there. Probably can, it looks like. Intelligence to drop in the first one. I really like having a scimitar. Might be able to get away with prayer flicking against the gang boss. That gangster in the back is inaccessible, which is fine, I'll just skip it. Getting lucky on getting melee gang bosses so far. Not 15 max hit there, that was good. Nine intelligence ain't bad, given that I had no uh, cannon. I'll take it. Storage tent southwest of the bank. I thought that one was pretty good, actually. Write that down. That should be my last one for a while. I might do this later. Like I said, it's good for construction grinding. I guess that's what I can do while we wait. I can go do some construction grinds. Got 14 minutes. I know eventually you can speed up the construction grind by like bringing noted planks and paying money to have them unnoted and doing some shenanigan involving a, uh, a butler, but I think I need to be like around 50 construction before that's feasible. So I'm just gonna do it the dumb slow way for now. Use my ring of dueling though to go back and forth between them. Okay, so I need to figure this out. Um, part of it is ring of dueling. I need to have 24 slots for oak planks. Let me just pull those out now. It gives me four slots along the bottom to do other shit with. Probably wield a wind staff or something. Oh yeah, that gives me enough for a hammer and a saw. I almost forgot about those. Okay, perfect. Construction is the jankiest fucking skill. I like it. I really like the premise, and I like what you get from construction, but like the way you level it up is so janky. It involves a system menu. What the hell? Construction 45. Multiples of five. You now build a house six rooms wide and long. You now build a chapel. 
Cabo, large teak bed, a carved teak dining table, oak shelves too, maple tree, steel torches, oak altar. I guess if I can pray to an altar, that might be nice. Although I think that the Ardoin cloak, Ardoin cloak is still better. I think it's Ardoin. I've been saying Ardoin, but that's how it's emphasized on the wiki. Ardoin makes a lot more sense. Instruction 46. We might be able to get to 50 just based on the uh, planks that we got from fighting those jerkwads. So that's that's cool. I'm done with that. I need to go start prepping for the next round though. Of course, another fucking rune scimitar. <laughs> oh man, video games. Nine intelligence. Not not great, not terrible. Could be better. A little bit dangerous there at the end. So I thought I was out of prayer. But it looks like we turned out okay, so. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I don't think that's going to quite get us to hit points level. Oh no, maybe it will. Actually, I think it will. Maybe some strength, too. So that's... Four. There it is. Hit point 60. Attack 60. Defense 60. Strength 60. Awesome. Oh yeah, I think I can just get, barely get strength 40. That's kind of awesome. Strength of 54. Look at them stats. Total level 1220. 30 more until we can go to special worlds. Super secret special worlds. Okay, quests. Uh, Eagle's Peak for sure. I have not read anything about Eagle's Peak. I just know that it's prerequisite for a bunch of medium diaries, so... Oh, it's a hunter quest. That's kind of cool. There are like barely any hunter quests in the game compared to every other skill anyway. Actually, since we were kind of on a roll with it, let me go ahead and finish burning through all my oak planks. Then we'll do Eagle Peak. How many like black scimitars have I picked up? Okay, it's worth money. Right on. Nothing to sneeze at. And I should have ended up with over 100 gold bars. Yeah, okay. We're not making bracelets out of them, but I just wanted to make sure I had some banked for quests and stuff in the future. So we want the set, plus a staff of air. We want the games necklace. Just accidentally deposited a games necklace. Where the hell did I put it? Dueling, I mean? Yeah, okay. Oh, not eight of them. I need to have enough runes. All, all, and we need a hammer and a saw. Really curious what level we're gonna end up at after all this nonsense. Construction 47. Now build sink, oak demon lectern, oak eagle lectern. I think the lecterns are important because they let you make um, teleport tablets to certain places. Amulet of Glory Mount. Uh, it would be nice if I had the if I had the amulet. I can mount it now and get unlimited teleports to those locations. But I don't. Instruction 48. 2 to 50. Chef's Delight Barrel. Which boosts your cooking skill. I might want that eventually. Combat Dummy, Teak Staircase, Symbol of Zamorak, Symbol of Guthix, Saradoman Symbol, Oak Treasure Chest, Teak Pet Feeder, Teak Pet House. I just need to go through and read everything that I already have access to. Next time I do something AFK and I don't have stream work to do, maybe I'll do that. Just open every single item in a new tab and see if it's functional or not. Trying to move this room so it's closer to the portal, you know? 
That's about as good as I'm going to get, I think. Speed things up a little bit, not a lot. Is they make it easy to move stuff like that. Construction 49. What does that give us? Treasure hunt fairy house, shuttered chapel window, small chapel statue, chapel wind chimes, wooden torches, teak pet scratching post. Okay. Need to find out if there's something effective I can do with teak, since I got a boatload of it. I think we'll stop here once I get to 50 construction and see how many uh, lo uh, planks I have remaining. Seems like a good stopping point for now. I think it's a prerequisite for some quests. Let's see. Construction. Yes. So there's actually only two quests remaining that require construction. One is Dragon Slayer 2, which seems like it's a very much an endgame quest. Requires 50. And then Song of the Elves requires 70. Basically, Song of the Elves made this whole let's beat old school RuneScape way harder because they added like several skills that kind of sucked a level that took a 20 skill jump. Like uh, farming went from less than 50 to 70 as well, I think. There's 50 construction halfway to 99, right? <laughs> About that. Can I build a maximum of 24 rooms? You can now build a portal chamber and use the advertisement notice boards. Okay, building a portal chamber seems like that's a big deal. You can now build mahogany armchair, ornamental globe, fire dehumidification, teleport focus, teak portal frame, teak altar, oak toy box. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a short break. We are going to do Eagle's Peak as a quest. Be back in a little bit. Hey, I'm back, and a bunch of time has passed. I decided that I needed to get some sleep. <laughs> Catch up on my sleep dead a bit. I've uh, generally been operating kind of like five or six hours, and I needed to get like eight or nine and catch up. So we can do more five or six hours of sleep nights. It's super healthy. All right, uh, so when I signed off, the thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to research construction because I hadn't found anyone that had made a document that was, this is all of the functional stuff you can get from construction because if you look at construction in game like if you look at this list it's like oh my god what does all of this mean like what do all of these things do does a chair actually do anything is a chest a thing so anyway i went through every item that you can possibly make from construction from the construction level up table on uh, the wiki i listed the earliest level that you can make that type of item i described I only listed functional items, so if it's like chairs or desks or things, I left those out of this document. This is functional stuff only. So I listed what the function is, whether or not it can be upgraded. Um, if I said that it's an aesthetic or a cosmetic upgrade, that means that it can be upgraded, but it doesn't affect what it does at all. Progressive means that every upgrade can do everything the previous step could do, and then side grades means that uh, each upgrade does a different thing. So you might have to build multiple if you want to be able to do all of them. So it looks like most things are progressive upgrades. There are very few things where you have to choose which one you want. Um, then I went through and I automatically pulled my construction level from the RuneScape API, that's what this is. Uh, and I've plugged it in so that it highlights things where I can make the maximum level version of that item now. So like, for example, beer barrel, I can make the best beer barrel or the highest level beer barrel. I can make the best larder um, the drain only has aesthetic upgrades, so I can make it, that sort of a thing. Uh, so I'm just going to use this, I'm going to pay attention to it. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and move it to Yanil at some point, because Yanil is closest to a bank. But I have some plans of what I actually want to build in the house now. I'm not as stressed out, like, trying to imagine what things I should be paying attention to and not paying attention to. It looks like... I need to get in like the mid 60s, I guess mid 50s in some cases, to really be able to build the maximum versions of everything. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to build the like imperfect versions of stuff or I just want to hold out until I can make the actually useful one. Yeah, it's like all of the best stuff is from like 52 to 95. Especially in like the 80s, you get a ton of upgrades. So we only need to get construction to 70 for quests, if I recall correctly. Yeah, 70 for Song of the Elves, but I might try to take it further anyway. Just because it'll con be convenient in doing everything else. I guess as long as I'm getting uh, planks for free, it's worth burning them. All right, well, we got to do Eagle's Peak. Keep putting it off. Let's just, uh, let's knock it out. That involves going to Charlie in the uh, Ardoyan Zoo. 
go ahead and cut these gems to get them out of my uh, out of my bank. Oh, I need more yellow dye. Uh, I should have made more than one that one time. Do I have any onions? Probably don't. Oh, I do. All right, I'm gonna grab some really quick. Swamp tar is not the same thing. Oh wait, maybe it is. No, that's swamp paste. That is different. Where can I get swamp tar? Lumbridge swamp. I gotta go to Lumbridge anyway to get the dye, so. There's some swamp tar. I think we learned recently that there's a another jewelry teleport that goes like right here, and it's super close to a fairy ring. Yeah, so I should try to make that later. My current options for a fairy ring aren't super great. Grand Exchange Teleport's not bad, I guess. Oh. Make dies for me, please. Hello. Two onions. Perfect. Alright, yellow dye, swamp tar, 50 coins, 10 eagle feathers obtained during the quest. Got it. The Arduin Zoo. Hi. Welcome to the Arduin Zoo. How can I help you? Do you have any quests for me? Well, his actual name is Charlie. Not just a zookeeper that's going to become Charlie. You can see about starting a Cold War quest also, I guess. Larry, maybe? Hi. Welcome to the zoo. I'm feeling kind of busy right now. What was it you wanted? Sound like someone needs a quest doing. As you could mention, you might be able to help me. A few weeks ago, we had a delivery of a northern ferret. They're funny little creatures. Turns out they're tricksy little blighters, too. Whilst we were unloading them from the cart, he managed to escape his cage. It's more he gave the driver a nasty nip on the way out. Can't make a new attraction without animals. Got in contact with one of our associates, a huntsman named Nikolaus, who agreed to capture us another. We haven't heard from him for some time now. Let's go look for him. Sure, any idea where I should start looking? Northern Fred is mostly found around the mountains just west of the Gnome Stronghold, so that probably be a good place as I need to start looking. Gotcha. About Cold War. I do meet the minimum requirements. Are you working for them? I'm not sure. Who are they? Exactly. What are you talking about? I think you can be trusted. What do you know about Penguins. Uh, they live in the cold. <laughs> Would you like to learn more about them? I'm conducting a uh, research project to uh, learn about their social habits and their natural environment. They build a shelter to hide from view. It's always useful to have an extra pair of eyes for observing penguins. Okay, why not? I was a zookeeper here, but I'm on leave to go research penguins in their native habitat. The other materials for the bird hide will I arrange for our transport. Ten oak planks, ten steel nails, a hammer, and a spade so that we can build a bird hide. By the entrance of Keldrum, east of Relica. Hide on. Maybe I could do a... I've mentioned before going on a run through the game and trying to like pick up as many quests as I possibly can. That alarm is that I have to restart my reruns, so I'm going to be AFK for a sec while I do that. It'll just get fast forwarded. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Eagle's Peak. AKQ. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I've been up there before. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be faster. Let's do this AKQ one. Check the books. Amongst the scattered books, one in particular grabs your attention. There seems to be something poking out from between the pages. Bird book. As you open the book, something falls out from between the pages. It appears to be a small metal feather. Crimson Swift, Cerulean Twitch, Golden Warbler, Tropical Wagtail, Copper Longtail, Giant Eagle. I think we've caught the longtails before. The Golden Warbler can be easily identified by its hideously annoying song. Though it's prized for its fine feathers, it's probably caught just as much simply to shut it up. 
Eagles, known about the giant eagles. There are reported sightings in many parts of the world, but the nests of these magnificent creatures remain elusive. The only record of such a nest is in the folk tale of the bandits of the Golden Claw. It's like Lord of the Rings giant eagles. Secret entrance near the peak of the mountain, but to this day it hasn't been found. Interesting. Agility shortcuts paying off. Oh, there's an eagle. Crocky outcrop. Doesn't seem to match the rest of the cliff face. There appears to be a thin vertical slot in the middle of the rock. Carving of a feather. Interesting. This stuff is so cool. Part of the cliff face swings outward to reveal a tunnel heading into the mountain. New music track unlocked for Eagle's Lair. Feather Journal. Okay, I'm gonna read this and summarize. Alright, so this is about a group of bandits that are trying to rob the Tree Gnome Village. Uh, they just rob a bunch of food, but they're holding up in this cave, trying to figure out how to deal with the eagles, trying to, like, grab the eagles with a rope, but one of them got carried off to, like, al -Karid. Uh There's a joke about random events. A mysterious old man turned up today. Not sure how he got in. He kept pestering us until eventually Davey spoke to him, at which point he offloaded a load of spinach rolls onto us and left. <laughs> I guess the door design with the metal feather was by a dwarf member of the bandit crew. Serious old man have turned up again. We don't have time for this, quite frankly, so we're just going to ignore him. After all, what could he possibly... <laughs> it cuts off. I love it. Go the southern route. He crosses across the ledge. He must shout to him. Excuse me? Hello, are you Nicholas? Nicholas? Reputation precedes me. Yes, I'm the renowned hunter and explorer Nicholas. You arrived just in time to witness a very momentous occasion, for I just discovered the nest of a giant eagle. Aren't giant eagles mythical? Many people believe so, yes. My relentless exploration has paid off once again. Those are really big eagles. How do you manage to find the nest? From unfaltering dedication, attention to detail, and I suppose there's the minor point that I got carried here by an eagle. <laughs> In fact, the eagle found you? It might appear to an amateur, yes, and while I may have been a little lucky, but it's still a remarkable discovery. What do you intend to do now that you've discovered it? Observe its behavior patterns and document its feeding habits. I think you're trapped. Trapped is a negative way of looking at it. We'll admit, however, that getting out of here may be a little tricky. Could I help at all? Actually, I believe you could. I need to somehow trick the eagles into thinking I'm one of them. Could you fashion a disguise for me? What would that involve? With the fancy trash shop owner in Verak, he can make anything if given the right materials. Probably give us a couple of disguises, one for each of us. Plenty of feathers around here, let's see what I can do. Ten evil feathers. Teleport to Verok. Okay, this is the person that makes clothing out of hunter material. It makes sense why they would send you here. And a couple of bird costumes. Spire choice, what kind of bird were you thinking of? A giant eagle? Do you have any giant eagle costumes in stock? Materials you need. Fresh out of giant eagle feathers. We need to get onto my supplier about that for some time. Give us a supplier? I thought nobody knew where to find the nests. Some chap in desert clothing. They said his name was Ali. He assured me they were giant eagle feathers. Come to think about it, they were suspiciously similar to his chicken feathers. So I'm trying to hold things together. And yellow dye for the beaks. Got the feathers and the materials you requested. Can you make those giant eagle costumes now? Eagle me up. Here you go. Two eagle costumes. Should be the envy of the party with those. Nice. <laughs> Pretty silly. I turned off the camera zoom unlocker. I like it. I'll probably turn it on for specific tasks in the future, but uh, kind of like using whatever the game restricts me on the default zoom. Shout! Hello, Nicholas. How are you getting on with your discoveries? Having just a little trouble convincing him to let me leave. I suppose you managed to get the disguise I asked for. I have one right here. Bring it over here, then. It's not much use to me over there. Okay. Yeah, there's some big-ass eagles. Open stone door. It seems to be locked in place. There's an engraving of an eagle on the door. Three of the feathers illustrated in the engraving seem to be cut deeper than the others some sort of decoration. 
in Resident Evil 4 now. Alright, west of the Eagle Door is a tunnel. The obvious trap here. Operate the winches, that's cool. Bronze Feather. Another room a bit further north. Empty pedestal. You need to have 2700 to successfully inspect the empty pedestal. Hey, it's a trail. Faint footprints leading beyond the area. That's cool. I do really like this core hunter mechanic. It's fun. Generally just rock-like. Closer inspection reveals the rocks to be hard, gray, and generally just rock-like. Here we go. Your door shifted recently. Faint tracks among the debris, and they aren't tracks you recognize. Entirely unfamiliar, but they do seem somewhat larger than before. Give it. Threat. Hey, give me that. Taunt Kevin. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. More Monty Python. Scurries away. Nice. I like how they gave a non-combat option there. It looks like you could fight it too. Now go away or I will taunt you a second time. Northeast corner of the main dungeon. Bird seed hold. Odd bird seed. Need six to finish the puzzle. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can solve it myself. I'm just trying to read what I need to prep for before we start. You get to the end of the long corridor. To get, there's the pedestal, I guess. It's much more complicated than the last two puzzles. Okay, it's got eagles on tracks, stone gates, which presumably only open when an eagle passes through them. They like head towards a bird seed holder, maybe? See what the eagle lever does. I see. Interesting. Probably opens and closes gates. Clever. Okay. What is this guy doing? Closing a door behind that eagle, but why? Opening this gate, maybe? It's keeping me from getting back to the bird seat, maybe? Oh, it's opening this over here. Any more levers down here? Okay, now this makes more sense. I need to not be blocked by this, right? I need to put this one first so I can get out of my way. I get it now. Like, what? what is the point of these things? They physically block you from moving past them. I don't know what that did. It had to have been important though. <laughs> Turn it back up and see if I can figure it out. So I think we need to get back to where that lever is, which makes sense. So there's a lever over here that I can pull that I think opens it, because I think it switches the door that I just went back to and I don't need that anymore. I see how you could figure this out. Also a pretty solid, like, D&D &D puzzle. And you get the bird out of the way. Alright, let's try to figure out what that switch just did. I don't think I would need to pull this eagle back to hit that switch again. This might be wrong, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, wait, no. Oh, because they can't go through because of the gate. I see. Both of them get reset. Sure. One sec. Must be why I'm supposed to pull that bird back, because I guess this switch must impact one of the birds over here. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Hmm. Does the one back through here secretly impact them without me realizing it after all that? There's two closed gates over on that side now. We need to change which gates are closed, I think is the idea, so I can get through and get to the pedestal. Okay, so I think I screwed it up. Um, I need to get this guy out of my way is my problem. But I think the issue is I need to get him out of my way without this one getting out of my way, right? 
So I think I need to be able to get to this lever and then send him back. So I'm going to reset one more time and then I think I got it. This is what you get when you don't follow the guide. I think it's fine. I like figuring out the puzzles, but it does like triple or more the time it takes to do things in the game. My general philosophy is it's already a 500 hour playthrough. Let's, uh, let's chill out. Okay, so this time I think I want to pull this one out and hit that switch before I do anything up on the top. Since I can send it back. Then I want to lock it behind that wall as I think is what the ultimate goal is here. Otherwise they won't move if they're both moving into the same corner there. And this is what I learned on my first attempt. Yes, yeah, so we're going to hit this switch and I'm going to do stuff up here to be able to lock it behind the door. And then I should be able to get through. Now it makes sense. That makes slightly less sense. <laughs> oh wait, okay, no, I think it's I think it swaps the open close status of those doors. So I think I can send it back after I deal with this stuff up top. The switch should swap those two gates, right? Yes, that's correct. Getting blown up this morning. I don't know what's going on. Robocalls have already been really bad. So I think now we head all the way up to the top and hit that switch again. And then it only closes that door, maybe? I'm actually not sure if it closes one or both doors. Just the one. Perfect. That's the solution. Hooray! That was fun. Should do more of these puzzles blind if I can. Except sliding block puzzles. I ain't nobody got time for that. Cool puzzle. You put on the eagle outfit. Just super silly. Nope, I got all your shit. Nice. Clock past eagle. <laughs> That's great. Getting on with your discoveries. What's this? A young hatchling? Oh, I hope it doesn't think I'm its dinner. No, it's because it's me. I'm just in disguise. God. <laughs> you sure you're not going to eat me? So I'm going to get you an eagle outfit so you can get out of this nest. It's a really convincing disguise. There's no way the eagle will be able to tell me from one of its own. I'll meet you back down at the campsite. God. Oops, not this door. Climb the rocks. Talk to Nikolaus. Hello again, Nikolaus. Can I help at all? I usually sent to find you because of a ferret. <laughs> do better than that, I'll teach you how to capture one yourself. Wait, no, no, no. Show me how to capture. Click that an accident. Sounds good to me. What do I do? Come with me and I'll show you. Bait of the trap with me. Now what? Now we wait. Quietly. What if I don't like waiting for things? Maybe should we wait quietly? Nice. One gift wrap for rich for Larry. Just a matter of patience. Great, thanks. Back to Ardoin. The guide here says that doing this quest, it's using the eagles that uh, unlocks the... Um, the medium diaries, so I'll probably run and do those really quick right after the quest is done. Charlie, my friend. Hey look, finding a clue as to Nicholas's whereabouts yet. I have actually. He's been abducted by giant eagles, but I managed to rescue him. He's now gotten back to his hunting. Giant eagles? What a strange notion. Well, regardless, if you found him, you can tell him to hurry up with that ferret. A ferret right here for you. That'll make an excellent addition to the zoo. Ability to capture ferrets. Oh, I didn't realize that, that was gated. Interesting. Not quite 42 hunter, but 2500 hunter XP is pretty neat. I like how I'm accidentally almost base 50 in all skills. That might be something that's worth burning through later. 
I need to get Hunter to 53 to do one of these uh, diaries, so... Well, I could come back and do that later. <laughs> I'm lassoing the eagle. I love it. Whoa. Cool animation. Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. Move this boulder to open the nest, I guess. Pushing the boulder from this side will make it harder to get out. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's good there's a rope on the ground. Medium task for the desert area. We don't have task on the fermentic here. I don't know if this is actually that helpful, though. Jungle eagle. Mine isn't tall enough for strong enough to climb. Oh, wow. It's like guiding the vine up? That's crazy. Okay. Actually kind of convenient as far as getting me down here, but... Okay, we've got 30 minutes left in the episode. What do I want to do? Um, I think I want to burn the rest of my planks on construction. Yeah. Because based on that document I just made... I... let's see... Interesting things happen at 55. 52 is a new training item. Jesus Christ, I cannot... <laughs> getting exploded today. <laughs> Sorry on the phone, I've got the volume down, so it shouldn't be that bad, but... It's every time that I'm unmuted that it's going off, too. Uh... I gotta move my house to Yaniel. That's one step. I don't think I'm interested in doing the Servant just yet, because I'm not that hardcore about training that I need to, like, pay the gold to make it faster. Since I'm all self-found, so I'm not going to stress out about hiring the butler or the demon butler yet. Uh, if the grind gets pretty bad, you might do that later. And get, the grind gets bad and I have a lot of cash, but right now I'm a little bit cash poor. My methods for making money aren't incredible at the moment. So the Watchtower quests become significantly less relevant. This is closer to a bank than the one in Corrin, it's just barely closer. Doesn't really matter because I've been using the game's necklace anyway. House is in Hasidius. I guess it's right next to a sand pit, which maybe could be useful in the future. Um, can I just talk to any? State agent to move. State agent. Okay, I don't mind the state agent. I have several ways to get to Hasidius now. So just for reference, quests that may be upcoming that are related to diaries. Uh, Ichthlarin's Little Helper, Hand in the Sand, Tower of Life, Spirits of the Elid, Anakra's Lament, Skippy and the Mogers, Rat Catchers, Recruitment Drive, Horror from the Deep, Between a Rock, Elemental Workshop 2, Lair of Tarn, Razalore, Cabin Fever, Rum Deal, One Small Favor, The Eyes of Glaufrey. Move my house, please. Stu Yaniel. Shit's expensive, though. Okay. Now I can just get into the Magic Guild for free. I forget, is there anything I care about in there? I guess I can restack my Mystic Robes. Wizard's Guild. Walden quests. Rune essence mine. Oh, that's why. If we do rune, traditional rune crafting later, it's probably going to be through this. Do the hand in the stand to access the rune store. Which I guess the runes he sells are fairly reasonably priced, so if I end up not leveling up. He sells every rune. Every rune that I've ever used so far. So if I end up not leveling up runecraft high enough to pay back the runes that I bought, I can buy them from the shop and then sell them at a loss in the grand exchange and say that the debt is repaid. As silly as that is. Oh, hard task in the Ardorian area. I guess that's cool. Makes sense. It's all worth it. I'm going to have to go on an extended... Um, Emerald farm to get a billion rings of dueling because I'm going to be using the lots and lots and lots of them. Many rings of dueling. Many, many, many. Got, I think I got enough oak planks to get exactly 51 construction from 42 or whatever we started as a result of running all of those uh, 
uh, what do you call them? Shazian gang busting events. It's kind of cool, actually. 470 deep planks. Start working my way through those. But I think I need some money. I need to build a room in order to be able to make these guys. I think I actually don't want to do a servant until I'm able to build the servant payments. Servant's money bag is at 58 construction. Otherwise, I have to reserve an inventory slot for money to pay them. But we'll do a servant once I'm able to make the money bag. I think that makes sense. You were. Okay, that's better. Add room. We need dining room, I think. All these room options, damn. Do gotta make that portal chamber at some point. Decide which portal makes the most economical sense. Teak bench, I think, is what we wanna make. Well, let's finish the uh, burning through the oak. And then thank that gang busting game for many levels of construction. Teak chest, combat ring, carved oak, wardrobe. Teak bench is five. I think just about everything on the wiki is obsessed with, like, the number of seconds to grind. I'm actually more interested in, like, resource usage, since it's... I can't just buy as many things as I want, you know? So I think the oak larder is faster than what I'm doing, because it's eight oak planks. You're making fewer trips back and forth, but I've got, you know, 500 plus teak. I may as well burn it. All right, so I think this episode I'm just going to go over time so I can burn through all of my teak. So we might go over by 30 minutes or so. See ya. Oh shit, I completely forgot to finish getting those willow branches I have to pay back. Let me do that real quick. Fire runes. I think I only get six of them. I checked the health last time and it wasn't ready. Maybe I can do the rest before the episode closes out. Damn, I've been bad about that. Okay, I have to wait like 30 minutes to get the rest of them. No worries. I just walk to a bank. Or replace this ring of dueling anyway. I'm just gonna go back to having roofs off. They keep getting in the way of me clicking on stuff. Um, if I visit a new area that I've never been to before, I will maybe turn them back on temporarily so we can see what the zone is supposed to look like. Oh, fuck, I forgot to deposit them. Oh, I'm so bad about the tool leprechaun. It's, it's shameful. Construction 52. Mahogany dining table is a big deal, I think. Yeah. Six mahogany planks. I'm going to burn through my mahogany on that and we'll come back to teak. Fine should be worth checking on now. Oh, neat. Construction 53. Mahogany four poster, undead combat dummy. I think we actually do want to build a combat dummy. Whenever you hit them, you hit for your max hit. And you can use the uh, ancient mace that we got from the Dorgishan quest, which gives you prayer based on the damage you dealt. And you can use it to get your prayer above your max. So it's not something I'd want to do all the time, but. You know, adding an extra 14 prayer for a specific boss fight that's out of my league might make a big difference. That's a lot of extra seconds of uh, protection. Not a high priority, though. I might leave, like, 10 mahogany planks in my bank just in case I have some reason to use them later. Oh, hey. Construction 54. Didn't see that it was that fast. That's actually pretty fast. 54, I think, is nothing. Oh, it's so slow to read through all these. Oak cape rack. Actually, no, that is something. Let's use store capes. So I could, like, if I need inventory space later and I've got capes that I picked up, I can throw them on there. I think 58 is our big goal right now. We're not going to get it today because Teak's not going to cut it. 
55 is another one, but 58 lets us build the servant's money bag so we can actually use the servant without having inventory space reserved for him. Okay, I'm going to burn through teak with my remaining uh, time here. I'll try to leave like 10 teak behind at the well at the end also. It's 55 construction. I'm going to build a formal garden. Oh, you can make hard stash units. I didn't even think about that. That'd be good. Go on a tour later and build all those. What do they make? If they're running out of... Um, Teak, then I should save my remaining teak for that. Stash. Hard is teak planks. Okay. How many of them are there? Fewer than there were medium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hard stash locations. And so I need to save a total of 30 teak planks to do this. Okay. I'm gonna decide whether I wanna burn through my remaining teak. If I have enough to get to 56, if I don't, it's not worth it. Got my calculator over here. I have 218 teak remaining. And I need to reserve 30 of that. For hard stashes, so I need a hundred. I'll have 188 left. Damn, I'm just barely gonna have enough. Okay, so we're gonna stop when we get to 56 construction here. So if I never do, um, I just did some calculations and it's pretty depressing. <laughs> if I never do uh, gang busting again for Shazian, and I have to get all my planks traditionally, I need. 4,000 mahogany logs to go from 56 at the end of this to 70, which is what we need for the quest cape. I need to figure out how much gold that's going to cost just to convert wood logs to 1,500 coins. Oh my god. 4,000. 6 million gold in uh, the gold cost alone paid to the NPC. I could probably get to a point where I can farm well enough to make six million gold, but I think if anything that's suggesting that I should do more um, Shazian gang busting. It's a stressful activity though, very high tension, competing with other players, even if it's very good XP. I guess I could keep doing it. I get strength to 60. And then I could get all of these stats, attack, strength, defense, and hit points to 65, which would probably produce a shitload of planks in the process. Oh, it's so stressful though. <laughs> it's effective, it's effective as hell. Let me count the tiles from the teleport next time I come in. So I don't know if this is that much closer than Winter Tot. The skills necklace, well I guess they're both, not the skills necklace, but the uh, Games necklace. They're both pretty easy to make. On the plus side, I need about 4,000, 5,000 mahogany logs to get to 70 wood cutting. So I put all of them into construction. Because that's denying fire making a little bit, but I can get some fire making XP from the Winter Tot minigame if I ever get around to doing it. I probably should at some point. Because if I end up doing logs, and that's going to be the real value of having a servant, because they can take stuff to the sawmill for you. So what I should probably do is I should at least get to 58 construction through planks obtained from gang busting. See whatever combat skills I get in the meantime. And then I can probably swap to doing logs. Because then I'll have the uh, servant's money bag. Will increase the cost of doing all of this though, so. There's 56 construction, so doing gang busting from. What were my stats before? 
I came a pretty long ways to get to 60 attack, 60 defense, 60 hit points, and like 54 strength. It was quite a bit of gang busting. But anyway, in, the, in that process, we got enough uh, construction plank drops to go all the way from 42 to 56 construction, which is pretty awesome, because that would have been stupid expensive under normal circumstances. Uh, so I think gang busting is not... Like I said before, I, I, I'm nervous doing combat anything that isn't also leveling a secondary skill like Slayer. But if I can consider gang busting as leveling construction, um, then I think it's worth doing. So there will likely be more gang busting in the future. 56 construction gives us a maximum of 25 rooms from nowhere near. Shelves, dresser, hedge, swordfish, all decoration. There's a lot of these things that I just, I don't want to mess with them until I can make the best version of it, right? I'm going to pop, actually I'm going to go to Varrock really quick. Get my six uh, willow branches, post them on the Grand Exchange, and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day and I'll let you guys know what's coming up next episode. Decided to alc all these one charge jewelry, teleport jewelries all at once, save some time. All right, willow branches are on the market board. We have repaid that debt. Uh, anything else I wanted to wrap with today? Don't think so. Just summarize what we're doing next episode. Okay, so skills are looking pretty good. We're actually pretty close to 1250 total level. Um, I need to keep doing combat. So there's two things that are on my mind. One is finishing recipe for disaster, and that's gonna require a fairly high overall combat level. I think we need all three styles leveled up because I think there's parts of recipe for disaster that require melee, ranged, and magic. Um, so we've got some probably range leveling to do there, and I'm gonna try to do that via Slayer. First of all, because I can't do it via gang busting, and second of all, because I need to take a break from gang busting because it's super stressful. Uh, so that is on the immediate horizon. Um, I still have a lot of stream work to do, and I'm basically out of, uh, where are they, swordfish. So next episode might start with a lot of swordfish fishing, maybe like a couple hours or something. I really need to restock. I, I don't feel comfortable if I have fewer than 100 of those, and I'm down to like four. So I got to fix that. Um, swordfish hunting. Quests right now. We're going to be focusing on quests that serve as prerequisites for medium diaries. Uh, quests that are prerequisites for the final step of Recipe for Disaster, although that's a bit on the back burner until our combat gets to a point that we can handle it. Um, and then other skilling opportunities, we're looking at skilling up things we need for medium diaries. I'd like to just have all the medium diaries done. Uh, so those are, let's see, 55. Oh, we're already at 55 mining. I guess I wrote this down before I leveled mining recently. <laughs> We need 61 woodcutting for a medium diary, 50 slayer, which we should get anyway through combat training, 50 smithing, which we're pretty close to, 42 hunter, which we're stupid close to, 53 hunter, which is a ways off, but I think we can make it happen, 45 farming, which I would anticipate doing via um, the tithe farm minigame, uh, 65 fishing is going to be a bitch and a half. We're only at 55 right now. I might get a couple levels by getting those swordfish next episode. Uh, but it looks like that's boostable, and I can make the admiral, admiral, admiral pies, I can talk, now that I'm 70 cooking, that would let me boost fishing. So that will, will likely go to 60 and then get that diary through boosting. Uh, 48 herb lore, that's gonna be a little rough. I might still try to get, well, I can try to get everything above prayer, because I think I want Tears of Guthix to fund prayer now, <laughs> that herb lore is so much more tolerable to level. Uh, 50 Fletching. Fletching seems pretty slow as an Iron Man. It would be fast if I could buy the materials, but I can't. Uh, and then we're already at 49 Crafting. We got that while making those gold bracelets. So that's the plan, short plan for the future. We'll figure out which one I pick. I expect it to be fishing at the start of the next session. Thanks. Catch you next time.